What's up everyone? Today's lesson is on comparing fractions that have the same numerator but different denominators. All right, let's get it cracking. When comparing fractions, we must visualize and mentally think about which fraction is bigger and which one is smaller in size. To do that, we must first understand what the denominator is telling us about the fraction. Let's look at a few different unit fractions to see what the denominator is telling us. Here we have one half, one third, and one fourth. They all have the same numerator, one, but different denominators. The key idea is to see that as the denominator gets bigger, the size of the fraction gets smaller, which you can see in our visual models. The reason the size gets smaller is that the more you have to divide up a whole, the smaller the pieces become. So we see that one half is the biggest fraction. And the thing to remember is that the smaller the denominator, the bigger the fraction. Let's look at another example to compare two fractions with the same numerator but different denominators. Here we have two fourths and two fifths. When comparing fractions with the same numerator, we ask ourselves, which one has the smaller denominator? We see that two fourths has the smaller denominator, so two fourths is bigger. Let's look at the visual models to prove that it's bigger. Here we have two fourths and two fifths. Notice when comparing fractions, you must use the same size fraction model to compare. We see that two fourths is bigger than two fifths because its unit fractions are bigger. So we write our symbol showing that two fourths is greater than two fifths. Let's look at one more example. Here we have four eighths and four sixths. Remember, if we had the same numerator, we simply look to see which one has the smaller denominator, and that's the greater fraction. So 4 6 is the bigger fraction. But let's look again at the visual models to prove this. We make two models that are the same size. 4 8 has 8 units, and we shade 4 of them. 4 6 has 6 units, and we shade 4 of them. The key idea here is to see that the what the denominator is telling us. Eighths are smaller than six because the more you have to split up a whole, the smaller the pieces become. When we compare the same size visual models, we see that four six is bigger than four eighths. So we write four eighths is less than four six. Or we write the inequality symbol eating four six because it's bigger. So to sum it all up, when comparing fractions with the same numerator, look at the denominator and the smaller the denominator the bigger the fraction thanks for watching see you next time peace